Once I took a trip and landed on the moon. I first knew I wanted to perform um, in elementary school. I, my parents had, you know, albums of The Sound of Music, um, Annie, and I would sit in front of our record player and, you know, listen to them and sing them. Uh, my parents were very supportive, and they still are. They, if they can, they never miss a show. Um, when I first got my equity card, uh, I got it at the St. Louis Muni. And they, I did three shows that summer. And they flew out three times to St. Louis to see each show at various intervals, you know, <laughs> during the summer. So, yeah, they're very supportive. And life is just a song. Open up your eyes, there's something happening out there. Lisa and I met in... 99. We did uh, the tour of Les Mis together. I so admire her talent and what she does. And in, in a way, you know, some, of the, some people you just see them and you know, you just see her and you know she's it. You know, she's the real deal. Not only is she a genuine person, unbelievable performer, there's just something that's so, that sets her apart from everyone else. Um, that's why I admire her. You know, she has it all. Mateo and I have been seeing each other for two and a half years almost and uh, I mean he's great he comes to all my you know major performances it's it's nice to have someone in your corner it's you know it's her career and I want her to succeed in that at all costs so whatever she needs to do um, she you know she knows that I'm behind her 100% can you feel the magic in the air? Open up your heart, don't be afraid to really care. The role I would really love to do would be Fontaine in Les Mis, um, but uh, not actually the right type for that. Well, acting-wise, voice-wise, I'm perfect for it, but I'm just too big, too tall and too heavy to ever, you know, to in this day and age of theater or whatever, to ever be cast in it. You know, they're looking for that type. You're, you're either the fat, funny, best friend sidekick, or, I don't know, or, or the sinister, mean person, or, you know, I mean, something. There's, it's just very character. It's not just the casting directors or the directors or the producers. It's the audience as well that, you know, they don't want to see someone who's chubby fall in, you know, have the handsome hot guy fall in love with her. They're going to be like, well, that doesn't look right. Or, you know, but it's because they've been programmed to see that or, or think that. Um, I think it would be great, you know, to have a non-typical person be the love interest, you know, and uh, have that be just fine and normal and, you know, because obviously <laughs> people who are bigger have boyfriends and husbands and girlfriends and you know all of that and it does happen for anybody whether you're a stick you're an amazing dancer whether you're an incredible singer this business is hard if you really believe that you have the talent and the drive to stick through and that you've gotten encouragement from people you know saying yeah you really are good I enjoy you know watching you perform listening to you sing and you really believe that you can then do it no matter what your size is. If this microphone could speak to the world, I would want it to say, try not to judge people for their size, the way they look, um, and uh, do the same for yourself. If the world spoke back, I would want it to say, you're fine just the way you are. <laughs>